MSD's programmable 7 series ignition controls such as the PN7531 or the PN7530T have brought racers into the world of laptops and PC programming technology. These ignition controls allow racers to manipulate ignition timing and RPM like never before through the use of mechanics such as a distributor or activation switches. And another benefit is everything's included in the ignition control. No more accessory boxes or wiring to deal with. There is no need to be intimidated by the thought of setting up your ignition system through your laptop. The ignition itself wires in just like any other MSD CD ignition control. The programmable 7 Series ignitions all come with MSD's easy to use ProData Plus software. The software installs just like any other Windows based software and will run through the load process automatically. You can also download the software or upgrade your existing version at www.msdignition.com. And yes, the software is free. This video will walk you through the basic steps of opening, saving and transferring your files from PC to your race car. Let's take a look. Now that we have the software loaded, there's an icon on your desktop. You can double click on that. Two things can happen. One, you can either have the product connected and it will automatically find the software for you and load it for you. If you don't have the product connected, Double click on the software, it'll open. Now we have to open the file, go to File Open, find your product part number. In our case, we're using the 7531. You're gonna find 7531, open up the latest version. In our case, it's version nine. Double click that. Now we've got the software open. From here, we can start programming how we wanna program our ignition. Once we have the software open, it will show you in the data editor where you can adjust your rev limiters, your retards, your timing curves, your uh, shift lights. In the timing maps, you can program different timing curves for each gear. In your boost map, you can control timing based on boost and your time rev limiter. The dashboard will also serve as a real-time feedback showing you what's going on with the car running anytime that you have the engine running. Once you program the file, now we simply need to save it. Go to File, Save As, just like any Windows document that you're going to save. Give it a name, hit Save. Now it's saved in your hard drive. Now we go to the race car, plug in, let the car download the product onto the screen. It will show you what it has inside. Go to File, Open, open the file, double click on it. From that point on, make sure that the, that's the right file. Go to transfer, PC to MSD. You'll be able to see that transferring. Once it's transferred, to be, to be certain that it's correct, hit transfer, verify. This will compare the data that is in the box to what's on the screen and make sure that all the data is the right data. From that point on, now we can go race. While programming, if you have any questions, simply go to the help file there you'll find additional information over the paper instructions. <music>